Hello, it's Tom from SSAT here, speaking to you from East London. Uh, we are two weeks into enforced school closures and uh, what we're seeing is the vital role that schools are playing in keeping society going uh, during COVID-19. Uh, we know that school leaders are making tough decisions about putting your staff at risk, uh, about yourselves at risk and your loved ones at risk in order to keep uh, schools open uh, for key workers and vulnerable students. Um, every Thursday when we applaud the NHS, we are also applauding all those people that keep the NHS going, of which the school sector is a huge part. Over the last two weeks, there have been a few key emerging issues, uh, which I'm going to be talking to SSOT members about in a Zoom update on Monday, the 6th of April. The first of these is the Ofqual announcement on Friday about how GCSEs and A-levels will be examined in the summer. While we're broadly supportive of the arrangements being made by Ofsted to ensure that all young people get the grade they deserve and that grade has the same value as previous awards, there are several issues that we do have with that. The first is around uh, the practicalities of teacher assessment and then ranking students within each grade of those uh, teacher assessments. Uh, we know it's not something that schools are used to doing and that's why we are working with Professor Dylan William to provide practical advice from SSAT about how schools can do that in a principled way. The second issue is around uh, the extent to which schools' prior previous results will be included in the formula for national distribution. We understand why it needs to be an issue but we feel it unfairly disadvantaged, disadvantaged schools that have shown marked improvement over the last 12 months. Of course, we know a lot of changes have been made to the curriculum over the last five years and a lot of schools are expecting significantly better results this summer as a result. They should not be disadvantaged by this process. And thirdly, it's the controversial decision not to include year nines and year tens already entered for the summer 2020 exams in the teacher assessment. Many principal curriculum models allow for early entry and by de delaying it until the summer of 2021, really unfairly disadvantages these students. Because the decision has already been made not to publish performance data for 2020, we suggest that it stands to 2021, and therefore the decisions can only be made in the interest of young people and not at a school level. The second issue that is emerging is around the free school meal vouchers over the Easter holidays. All of the schools we've spoken to have essentially cancelled the Easter holidays. Many of you are remaining open for those vulnerable children and children of key workers over this time, including the bank holidays. It is absolutely right and proper that free school meal vouchers are paid during this difficult time. We know that many head teachers have already made the decision uh, to fund that themselves without government advice. You should not be put in that position and we need urgent government advice about this and a response. And thirdly, it's the long-term impact of COVID-19 on education. Uh, we need to know when schools are likely to reopen, even if that is September. Heads need that reassurance for long-term planning. We also know that inequality is likely to increase for a number of reasons, and we don't yet know what that will look like. But it must be very clear from government that schools will not be held accountable for the increase in inequality during this extraordinary period. If you are an SSAT member, please do join me on Monday afternoon for a Zoom chat uh, about these issues where we'll have a chance to talk to one another about how you are responding as school leaders. Uh, information about how to join that will come out in the Sunday supplement, so I hope to see many of you there. On behalf of all of us at SSAT, thank you for your continued support of the people of this country. Um, we are clapping you every single day. Uh, and we are there for you if you need us. Please have a great weekend. Thank you.